Hey, this is Paul with Madcap Software. We are on uh, video three of our series on uh, meta tags in Madcap Flare. And hopefully you've already watched the previous two videos because we're gonna pick up where we left off. We created three meta tag sets and now what we want to do, and, and we created some, we added some meta tags within each one of those. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go down to different file levels and we want to decide what we wanna use and enter or select meta tag values. And I say enter or select because entering, uh, you, you would actually type the text for a text meta tag, but select, you would select a value from a list or a file tag, meta tag. All right, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Let's start by uh, entering some meta tag values. Okay, so in our general meta tag set that we created, I'm gonna come down here. I said, we wanna leave this value blank and we wanna leave the other things blank, but we can provide some uh, value for this copyright because we wanna use the copyright on everything. We want it to be the same. And so uh, let's do that. So you can start out by, uh, I mean, you can just, type whatever you want in here, copyright. Um, maybe, let's see, I'm just gonna copy the copyright symbol. From, I got it on another screen, All right? And then you can also insert variables. So maybe you wanna use uh, a year variable but so that you don't have to remember to come in here and, and you know adjust the year, it just does it automatically. So I'm going to select insert variable and see if I've got one. I don't have one for the year right now, so. I'm gonna cancel out of that actually. I'm gonna save this just so I don't lose my changes and let's add a variable. Come into my variable set and I want a date time variable. So I'm gonna give it this uh, special format. So I'm gonna call it year and then I click over here and I can put in you know, what, whatever uh, specifiers I want and why, 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 why is just the year. And I'm gonna have it do this on the build, click okay and save. Now I come back here and I'm gonna insert that year variable in here. Okay, and I'll type a space and then I can use a variable for my company name because I have one of those, all right? Uh, so it could just be something like that, all right? So that, that was pretty easy. And uh, then when I generate my output, all these files are gonna get this copyright. All right, so we added this at the meta tag set file, but one thing you can do is you can create custom text tags lower down on any of these other, at these other file levels. So let's do that. I'm gonna come in to my content uh, explorer, go to Australian Shepherds, and I'm gonna right click this and go to properties. So on all these files, file types that support uh, meta tags, you're gonna see a meta tags tab here. And you can see it's picked up all three of my uh, meta tags in here, uh, meta tag sets. And if I expand it, you can see all the meta tags and the values and so on. All right. And then you have this custom section down here, which is blank. What that's for is if you decide, all right, at this file level, I don't have something on the meta tag set. I just want to add it here. You can click this and add a text meta tag. So I'm going to add this and I'm just gonna call this my custom tag because this is just for demonstration purposes. And then I'll just type in here and say, hi, I am a custom tag. All right, boom, done with that. Now, the other thing that you probably want to do at the topic level is supply the value for that uh, the description. Meta tag. All right. So I am on a topic about Australian shepherds. I'm just going to copy this content I have on another page, just a little bit there about uh, the Australian shepherds. So I'm supplying it there. Not no other topics have it. Just just this one. So now I can just click OK on this. If I can get this resized there. There. So I've got. I created. Uh, some text meta tags and supplied the values for them. So now we're talking about setting or overriding values. 
And uh, you can see that in this general meta tag set, we this is one place where we did set something up here, up high at this level, but we're going to now go down to lower levels and, and do something. So I'm going to go to a target, actually. I've got two targets in here. Let me open the first one and show you this inheritance. All right, come down meta tags and I select general meta tag set. And you can see it's getting this value, hello, from the meta tag set. Now I'm gonna open up the second target in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna override that, but just for this target. So come down to meta tags, come in here. And instead of hello, let's do hi. All right, I could actually, I actually could select multiple values, but I'm just gonna select one right there. Now, the other thing I wanna tell you about targets is you're gonna get a couple of extra fields up here, one that says include and output. So by default, the meta tags that you set for the target, they're, they're gonna show up in the output unless you tell it not to, unless you have a reason for it. So you can deselect that. The other thing is override values set in content files. So this means that, think of that inheritance chain and targets were sort of there closer to the top. And so there's uh, lots of file levels down below it. And those file levels are gonna inherit things from the target, but if you, you could override something down lower, and this is sort of like overriding that override. You select this and, and, and you're telling it, I don't care what those files lower told you, I want, I want to use this. All right, so that's, that's what you do in the target. Now let's go back to topic level and let's go to the Australian Shepherds once more. And so there before, what I just did on, on the target level was I, over, I overrode um, one, the set, uh, value, but now what I'm gonna, these don't have values in them yet. It's just sitting here waiting for me, and I am going to go ahead and select values. So I'm going to say this topic Maya is in charge of that, and maybe I come down here to status, and I select in progress, and I just choose whatever I want from any of these. Uh, any of these meta tag sets and the meta tags within them. I know we have these others in here. Uh, we set them up. I'm not going to select those here in, in these videos, but I just wanted to show you that you can create these other meta tag sets and meta tags. And I'm actually going to use those in the micro content videos series. So I'm just going to click OK here. Now let's go and let's do something similar with Beagles. And in this one, we're gonna assign it to a different author. We'll say Jeff's in charge of that. And we will say that's in progress and click okay. And one more time for boxers. We've got three authors here, so I don't wanna let anybody to be feel left out. So I'm gonna select Emily. And this one, I'm gonna say this is ready for review and click okay. But the cool thing about uh, doing this down here at the file level is you can also set this on folders. So maybe you have a folder in here with lots of subfolders and topics and you have the same uh, values that are supposed to be on all of those and you don't wanna go through all of them and set the same thing. So you can set it on the folder. I'm gonna right click the folder, select properties. And let's say that every topic in there, just by chance, Emily and Jeff. So I selected two, okay. So then if I open, if I go to the properties for any of those topics underneath, you're going to see that they are selected. So that's a nice time saver right there. Click OK. One more thing I want to show you is uh, has to do with targets. So I'm going to go into the topic properties here. Anytime you go to a file level that's lower than the targets, you're going to get this target drop down. And what is that for? Well, remember, I opened up those targets before, and this one is inheriting the greeting hello from the meta tag set. But I had changed that for the second target. You select that and you come down and it's high. So you might have different values for 
for different targets. And so you also get this feature at that level so that you can see, hey, for this output, what is the value? For this output, what's the value? Do I wanna keep it? Do I wanna override it? What do I wanna do? All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. We'll see you in the next video where we talk about search engine optimization benefits.